Welcome back to Adobe InDesign CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover some of the text frame options. So you can see here, I have this uh, text frame with uh, my bio here. And if I go up to the window menu, or I'm sorry, the object menu, go down to text frame options. It has a hotkey of Control B or Command B on the Mac. So I'll go ahead and do that hotkey. And right here, we have the text frame options. So uh, there's a couple of different tabs here you can you can kind of play around with. There's a footnotes and auto size feature, baseline options. But the main one we're going to cover right now is the general options about this text frame here. And in here you can set, for example, now you can create your own columns on the page, but you can also do it with the individual text frame. So that right now it's at a one, but if I increase that to two here, you'll basically see it uh, update on here. Uh, or three or four. Now it doesn't seem like it's doing it right now. I think because I didn't have this selected. Let me click on it. Now go to object and text frame options. So uh, as we increase this, there we go. Now it's working. So you got to make sure you have the text frame selected that you, because uh, you could have more than one text frame essentially. But now I could add uh, two or three columns and see what that looks like there. Um, as you add an additional columns here you can adjust the color the color or I'm sorry the gutter uh, thickness right here so I can click in here and do that um, let's see what other options the main one that I probably use a lot is the inset spacing this is really nice because um, uh, and you typically you want this linked because you want the spacing all the way around if you don't you would unlink that and then adjust each one equally but I'm gonna add one you know so I can add you know, up to a quarter inch all the way around that. Give it a little bit of buffer zone there. Um, the vertical justification here, it's set to by default to top. But if you set this to bottom, you'd see it, it basically goes all the way down to the bottom. If you set it to center, it'll be centered. And then uh, justify will basically spread it throughout the whole document here. So I'm going to switch back to top. And again, you can uncheck or recheck the preview here. I kind of like the having a little bit of buffer in the text frame. So I'm going to leave that. And then I'm just going to click OK to apply it. So there's some of the options you have for the text frames in Adobe InDesign CC. Uh, see you next time. Cheers.